Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna work on the Hellcat today. We're gonna to work on interior. So I have some uh, some red trim that I wanna install. And uh, I got this off Amazon. I think I ordered the 25 foot, but uh, I'll put a link in the description below. It's not much at all. Um, hopefully it works out well. Hopefully it'll actually uh, stay and hold in place and stuff. But uh, I'll go ahead and get started on the driver's door. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is do this piece right here. So what we're gonna do is just start on the edge. And just slowly work our way over, kind of pushing this in. And I have kind of like a little putty knife thing. You got a sharp end and you got kind of more of a, a rounded end. I'm just going to use the rounded end to kind of push this in, make sure it's good to go. I got some scissors. I think I'm gonna mark a little small area. So I know where to cut it. Take part of it back out. Alright. So we'll tuck this back in. So that's what that piece looks like. Get you a better view. So hopefully it'll stay stay in place pretty decent. I'm sure I'll have some issues with it trying to pop back out. But um, if I do end up liking this, I might actually go back through all of this trim and get like a, like a little bit of glue or something just to kind of tack some spots that way. So especially spots where it will come out real easy, maybe on the edges and stuff. But uh, if I do like it, I'll actually go through and glue everything. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of fit everything and uh, see if I like it and then I'll go from there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to do this little area here. Not sure how well it's gonna stay in place, but uh, we'll give it a shot. You can definitely feel there's uh, some spots where it feels tighter than others and some spots seem kind of loose. All right, so here's what the driver's side door looks like. So I started it there, ran it up, and I was thinking about running it all the way down but once I got here it didn't really want to uh, fit in place right and stay so I just stopped it right there and 
I think that's all I'm gonna do for the driver's side door. I don't wanna do too much, but I think that's just enough, especially with the uh, red stitching already there. All right, so I got the passenger side done. Did it the same way as the driver's side. And I think next what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to do this area around here and uh, I'm gonna see how it looks. Right, so I got this one in now of course you can see right there real close where it marks at so hopefully that won't won't be too much of an eyesore we're trying to hide it as good as possible it's hard to make it perfect I mean looking at it from far away it don't look too bad might end up trying to move this up here so it's kind of in a shadow and you might not be able to notice it. So I do see most people, well I see them put in, I think it's called like the the EL wire. It's the, the one that lights up. Usually see them putting it around the trim piece here and around the center console. But I actually have uh, these carbon fiber overlays in and I was kind of test fitting it just to see how they fit and where there's kind of more of a gap now in between, it doesn't really fit that well. So I was trying to figure out where I want to put the rest of that and kind of had an idea gonna see how it looks and I think I'm actually gonna do it I think it actually kind of look cool and it's it's different from what everybody else does so if you look I was thinking about running that all along the front right there so you know what I, I think I'm gonna do it uh, if not I can just remove it the stuff isn't that expensive so if I have to trash this, then it really don't matter. Alright, so that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty dang good. I haven't seen anybody else Set those up like this. That's kind of what I would do. Glare on the lights. There we go. It's a little better. I definitely have to test how it looks out in the sun. Right now, I just got a lot of glare and stuff, but as you can see, it's about to come a, a big old storm. All right, so it's getting dark really quick. So I did kind of test fit this area. I didn't have to actually push it in far right here. And on this side, sorry, it's kind of dark on this. And, uh, the storm's coming quick, but uh, I, might, I might leave that. That this will definitely have to be something that I'll have to glue if I want to leave it. All right, so now that I got some daylight. Figured I'd show you guys what it looks like. So that's the doors. You can see where I did the air vent, and I also did change it to where that's up there so it might be hidden a little better and just so y'all can see the rest of the interior as well see where i did my red stitching and then these are the suede leather seats i bought and put in and programmed and you can see up front Also for the steering wheel. 
And actually I did drive and these actually surprisingly stayed in pretty well. So the, the next thing I'm hopefully gonna do, I bought the uh, clear coat for the uh, hydro dip that I'm gonna do on these. I'm gonna hydro dip these carbon fiber like I have these. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the description below. I got it off Amazon. Um, and you don't have to go with just red. They have different colors you can choose from. So uh, just check down there. It's cheap. And uh, it's definitely like a good visual mod. If you want to do something like that. And not spend too much money on it. But uh, please don't forget. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. So you don't miss out on any videos. And also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.